All right, we are back on the Ranger, and I went ahead and picked up an Ultimate Steed Longbow, one of the major things that I can suggest picking up right now. We're also going to toss on this Combat XP plus 10%, because why not? And let's get into this. I got to compete with this dude for kills with here. I've kind of figured out a little bit more combos-wise. I'm going to do the smart thing here. I'm going to go grab these pigs, and then I'm going to get out of this area to the better area. Sweet, no one took the pigs. Okay, now I'm just going to let them have this area. I'm not going to compete with them. I know I'm running by a bunch of enemies, but I want to get to the better section that's over here before they come over here. So yeah. This, uh, this section is just so much better for this area right here than the section over there that everybody goes to first because it's like the obvious area to go, but it's the bad area to go. If that makes any sense. And there's the pigs over here that you can definitely get to complete that quest, which is very important. Slaughter these imps. Let's see here, I only need to kill a few more. I need to make sure and kill the fighters. They're kind of the harder ones to find out of this. If there really is a hard... They're, they're not hard to find. I can't say they're hard to find, but they're harder to find than everything else here in terms of killing. Destroy this wagon. There's a fighter too. Nice. Leveled up to level 19. Beautiful. Okay, so let's come over here next to this guy. And summon the Black Spirit so we can complete that quest and grab the next one to defeat more Altar Imps. It's just Altar Imp Fest. The good thing is, is that we have pets now, so we're going to be able to pick up every all the loot after they fixed my Ultimate Edition. I got worried for a little while because there's a message popping up about people refunding the Ultimate Edition and then buying a different edition and then getting both rewards. But the message was kind of vague to start with. And it made it sound like if you collected your Ultimate Rewards, you were going to get suspended. But it's just it's just for the people that uh, bought the game twice, essentially. One refunded. They got all the got all the stuff. So I am all good. But I was, I was nervous for a little bit. I was big nervous. But I don't have to be nervous anymore. I checked. I went on Discord and I was like, I was asking. I was like, eh, eh, what is, uh, what's about to happen here to me? But no, I'm all good. We need to kill one more uh, Alter Imp fighter. So let's just go find one. He doesn't actually show up on the map, which is the weird thing. Hello, Alter Imp fighter. I think I see one over here. Nope. I did not. Hello? Alter Imp Fighter? Okay, you know what? I'm just going to kill some guys here while we wait. One's going to respawn here. They have to. I still have to get used to this Ranger. I'm not... It's hard. I, I like the Ranger, and I'm really just... I'm banking on the... Because this is definitely worse than the Archer. So, I'm banking on the awakening weapon being everything that I think it's gonna be which I know is expecting a lot because I'm expecting it to be really good not really good I guess I'm expecting it to be enjo more enjoyable I, I, don't, I don't know how I'm trying to say this but I'm assuming it's gonna be more fun than you know, it's going to be like a fun sword to use, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Still not quite sure what I was trying to say there, but I think that's what I'm trying to say. There's a fighter over here. Okay. It's still the best attack that I have. It's this is like... It one-shot stuff. It's like so good. It's so good. Okay, so let's go to... Let's go to the wizard's altar. We'll kill stuff along the way here. Because really, the only plans I have for this video is to get to the boss. So we can farm a little bit here. We do have the 5 minutes of XP boost on, so I don't want to waste all of that. But those, like, 10 minutes of 10% extra XP, I don't really care about those. They're not wildly huge. Got, mm, got a trophy, the Dark Horse. So I'm going to kill a little bit of stuff along the way. And we'll kill stuff on the way back. I'd love to hit, like, 21 in this episode. I think that's probably the goal. Try to 
kind of clean up enough stuff to hit level 21. Might be a little bit of a lofty goal, but I, but I think we can do it. Oh, there was a fighter over here. I could have just come over here for my fighter. That attack is so OP right now. It just straight one-shots clusters of enemies. I mean, like, I know my ultimate steed is, is good. Like, it's going to clean stuff up. But, man, that is, that is really, that attack is just, it feels OP. Um, I'm also trying to, if I go on the central market here, I'm trying to pick up a steel dagger. Um, I think it would be helpful to pick it up and then upgrade that. Since we have the ultimate steed, I don't think I need to worry about a bow for a little while. So I thought about picking up the dagger instead. We are going to have plenty of money for, like, this low-tier gear, so that's good. I'll also show you guys a little bit of something else. Can I jump here? Thank you. And I didn't... Oh, my gosh. I didn't turn in that quest over here. I forgot to do this in the, the noobs guide, too. I went, like, all the way up to the top. Because I, like, know what I'm supposed to do. I always forget to turn that quest in. So I guess I'll update it right here. So I decided to put on triple Agirian armor for now because I'm going to get the set bo bonus of plus two attack speed and plus two casting speed. Obviously, we don't have casting speed, but we do have attack speed that we need up. Profile authentication failed. Okay, game. I just will clean up that free experience by doing that backflip. I like that attack. It's kind of a cool attack, but man, is it OP. That is just the definition of OP. So, want to free these guys, get that quest completed. You only got to kill one, which is pretty nice. Or not kill one. You only got to free one. The other one's down there. Not even going to mess with them. So, we can turn in this quest. And I got to figure out what else I'm doing because we did this really quick. Okay, so we completed that quest. Okay, so no treasure chest, but this energy ain't half bad. Power tastes so, so sweet. Don't look at me like that. Am I the one huffing and puffing from a little climb? And besides, my power is your power, so you're welcome. But why would this bring, or, but why would this bring the Ultra Rims here? Something feels off. Ah, I found him, the fool that tried to take over this tower. Did that dimwit actually think he was worthy? He's so obsessed he doesn't even realize the consequences of his actions. Look, he was branded as a traitor by his own people. Anyway, he's trying to hide in the darkness like Red Nose does, but that won't work on me. Let's teach him a lesson about power. Hehehe. <laughs> Alright, so it is time for Dastard Bag, and I found this creative way to get down to the bottom. With taking as little damage as... That, that's the drop that does damage, but it really doesn't do damage, so that's like my nifty new way to get down from up there. So I have 30 seconds more of double X or of 10% more XP, so I'm gonna kill a little bit here. As I attracted the world, oh my gosh. There we go. Clean those guys up. Should have no problem hitting 21 just off of slaughtering these imps. Free those piggies. 
All right, let's keep on moving. I'll kill the the bigger clusters of enemies, like up here. It's a nice little cluster up here. Hit him with the hit him with the OP attack. I deal, I deal some decent damage now. I know my weapon is a lot of the reason why that I feel that way. Because if I had the weapon the game, you know, expects you to have at this point, then this wouldn't be going so swimmingly. But here we are. I think I've destroyed like any of those barracks. Okay, so let's go over here and give ourselves the fight against Dastard Bag. The dude that I need his gloves. I need his gloves on Xbox, like bad. But try bags on Xbox is like 700 million. It's so ridiculous. I need it though. I definitely need it. Tragically, it's probably what I'm saving up for now. I'll go over it in another video, but for you, for those of you watching this one that like my sorceress playthrough and stuff, I did pick up Kazarka today, which I was happy about. It cost me, it cost me 455 million? It was not a cheap purchase to... Oh my gosh, to pick up... Cause, okay, can you stop with the cheese attack? Bro, I swear, can you chill chill with that attack? That attack that sweeps you to the ground, he can get you in like the stupidest stun lock. I didn't want to tell you and scare you before, but he was a lot stronger than you think. You've grown quite strong. All thanks to me, right? Hee hee hee. Okay, so we got Black Spirit Gift. We got a permanent token, which is nice. And then we got this repeat quest, which I'm not going to do. We also get the Steed weapon, which I'll end up just selling. Got the uh, expansion slot, which is nice. But uh, all right, so we're going to head back and get Zara Lynch's wedding ring, and we'll kill some stuff along the way. But yeah, I picked up Kazarka's weapon for my Sork. Pretty happy about the purchase. It was either that or Tet Laverto, and I decided that Try Kazarka was a better purchase and it seems like that's what the consent it seems like the consensus is is don't go past t uh try with your roberto stuff which makes sense because the upgrades are minimal on it or not minimal but the upgrades uh price up to try is pretty minimal on laverto and then it gets kind of then it makes the big jump and the cost to upgrade it and stuff is is still equivalently high so it's just not worth going past Try when you could just get Kazarkas for fairly the same price that Tri, Tri Kazarkas and Tet Laverto are about the same price. So you might as well just get Tri Kazarka. Because obviously you want Kazarka in the end. Yes, that makes sense. For some people watching this, that won't make any sense at all because you don't even know what Kazarka is if you're just starting on PlayStation. But yeah, I wanted to update my Xbox people because Sork episode probably won't be... There probably won't be a Sork episode for a few more days. Maybe like Monday? It'll be a while before we get another Sork episode, is my guess. So I thought I would update it in this video. Free the piggies. And let's... Looks like there's some enemies over here, so we'll clear them out. This should get us to 21. Uh, close. Maybe? Maybe there's enough? Yeah, I think there, there's enough here. That's an attack that I like too. The one, the forward slash with the dagger. It's a pretty good attack. But there is 21, per, level 21. I almost said 21%. There's level 21. Alright, so let's... I took the weirdest route to get back here. I'm not going to turn the quest in yet. We'll just turn it in at the very end. We'll actually see how much experience that gives. Because I did not keep track of that on my noob's guide playthrough. Kill these guys because they always trap you in there. Not that they're hard to kill, but they do come up behind you and kind of trap you in here. So we got the wedding ring. Let's go turn in all of our quests. 
we'll start with the one in the barn here because it's on our way back. So we're at, we'll just say we're at 4%, just for say, ease sake, or 3.9. I guess I can remember this, 3.967, or 3.967. So turn that in, get the gold bar, which is beautiful. Okay, um, that gave us 1%, <laughs> which is not great, but it's still, you know, better than nothing. All right, how about you, buddy? How much do you give me? Another percent? Yeah, one more percent. And then her. What does this give me? That 20 potions is nice. Yeah, like another percent. Okay. Not as much as I thought it would be, but that's not terrible. But, uh, alright. So I'm going to go back and do the whole Bobby Lauren stuff, and then I'll see you guys in a moment uh, with some stuff that's a little bit more interesting before we wrap this episode up and call it a video. So I'll see you guys in just a second. All right, so it's time to make a decision here. We have to choose which path we're going to take, which is great. I'm happy they added this to PlayStation. Uh, it's something that we were missing on Xbox when the game first released, and it's really nice. So you can either choose uh, to side with Isabella Incarosha from the Jean Merchants Guild, who is in Heidel, and think of a way to resolve the power struggle among the noble families in Serendi and Calfian. Um, she says, Bobby Lauren is an incompetent fool. He is making excuses for his own mistakes. Shouldn't we listen to both sides of the argument before we jump to conclusions? Yes, I am referring to the Jean Merchant Guild or whatever from Calfian. You weren't planning on forming conclusions from just hearing one side of the story, were you? He he he. That's the Black Spirit. And then you can watch cutscenes videos related to the main story quest. It involves the stories about the Shadow Knights, Belmorn, and Jordine's plan to take revenge on Calfian. The situation has worsened for the League of Merchants since Jordine Dukas has ascended to Regency. I don't know what he's up to, but he's saving up funds. Do you have any idea how ruthless his methods are? He's forcing the League of Merchants to buy bonds and suffer from debt due to high interest. We're up against the wall, and it appears the Republic has allowed the Incarosha family... Um, the nobles of Calfion to have the Jean Merchant Guild establish a trading branch in Heidel. I can't bring myself to see Isabel and Karosha, the branch manager. I get nervous just hearing her voice. Please, can you explain our situation to her for me? That's Bobby Lauren. And then there's also, listen to Black Spirit Whispers and what the villagers have to say to proceed. The quest in this route is mainly centered around defeating monsters compared to other quest routes. The story of Lord Keplin's daughter, Oze will begin once you're halfway through Calfian. Sai, aren't you tired of listening to their complaints all the time? Wouldn't did merchants ever care about anything other than profit? He he he. Considering all that's been done, wouldn't it be more interesting to just pay a visit to the Grand Chamberlain? He's the one with power, after all. People like you have bigger and better things to do. Black Spirit. So I'm going to be doing this one, the Crossroad Silence. We're done here on the Noobs Guide because. I would rather kill a bunch of stuff than <laughs> spend a bunch of that series watching cutscenes. But we're going to grab this one because I'm cutting and going through stuff. We're going to pick this one because then I can show the cutscenes along with progressing through the game. So we're going to pick this one up and that's what we're going to roll with. So let's go ahead and select this quest line. So now we need to talk to good old Isabel in Calarosha. Do I, do I not have enough to talk to her? You must meet a... Oh, I have to talk. I have to talk to Povius before her because she's so important. She can't talk to a lowly ranger like me. Walking around, mouth agape in wonder. Looks like a bumpkin from Balanos. Why are you just standing there? Show Isabel some respect, runt. Can I talk to her now? How do you do? I'm Isabel, the branch head of the Jean Merchant Guild. Did Bobby Lauren send you this way? Is this all he had to give us? Today is the day we need to make payment on our loan, but this will barely cover the interest. It is clear to me now that Bobby Lauren and I don't see eye to eye on things. I should have talked to the head of the League of Merchants instead of him. Were you not aware? Grace Lauren was the old head of the Heidel League of Merchants, but all the better if you're an outsider, actually. Grace Lauren leaves her cousin out to dry while she gleefully counts her money. Go to Valley Lily Inn and tell her that any further delays will not be tolerated. I'll come by as well later. Well, at a later time. Can you deliver this message to her? I guess I can. I don't think I really have a choice. Do you have another quest to give me? No. Not with that yellow stuff up, that yellow quest indicator above her head. She might have a quest for me. I believe the inn is just up here, so we can do this and then call it an episode. I think that works out well. I figured out what I wanted to do to end this episode. So we'll have all the cutscene or as many as that I can get on this character. 
and I'll try to show all of them. I haven't done this side of the quest line in a long time. All right, hunt. Hello, game. You're not allowed here. Eh? What did that jackass just say? Do you hear a cat screeching somewhere? That's enough out of you, you bastard. Hunt. Huh? Lower your voice. We have guests here. Tell them to come back later. We'll be here every day until you repay Bobby Lauren's debt. You are the lady. Now get lost. Hunt, right? You listen up. The Lady Isabel's patience is near the end. You're not from Are you from the Jean Merchant Guild? If so, how about a taste of my fist? Not from Calfion? Then welcome. Thug free we are. Just how long do they plan on messing with us? Did Bobby send you to deliver a message? Grace is currently talking to someone on the second floor. Head up there and she should be done shortly. Thanks, buddy i don't actually remember him letting us go up top there's actually a quest in here what is the quest in here what do you got for me kill al rundi soldiers and kill thorn tentacles actually not terrible quests i'm gonna grab these right now okay so grab those from that dude and up top we go I, like, don't remember this at all. It's been way too long. I remember this, like, 0%. I'm the innkeeper. Did Bobby Lauren make another mistake? I hope not. Isabel from the Jean Merchant Guild? It looks like she wants to take matters into her own hands. I heard that the Jean Merchant Guild is going to take over the Golden Toad Inn, and we can't do a single thing to stop that. What is Lord Jourdine thinking? Although I am no longer the head of the Merchant Guild, I cannot stand idly by and watch the Jean Merchant Guild seize control of Heidel. If this continues, Calfion will have control of all activities in Heidel. Please deliver this letter to Jourdine. Perhaps he, perhaps we can convince him to stop. I will never what am I, just a delivery guy now? Just a freaking delivery man. Where is Jourdine? I gotta, okay. Gotta go down here. Where is Jordine Dukas? Oh yeah, he's up here. All right, Jordine. Wait, while we talk about important matters, especially if you're from Calfion, uh, you can stay here as long as you want. Hand over the letter. Isabel has probably figured it out already. Don't worry. Without any concrete evidence, the blame will be pinned on Bobby Lauren. Then they will figure out our plan. I'll go to Medea and draft an army. Their movements will look like common trading activity. I fear this may now give Serendia cause to flee. My lord. Serendia is already Calfion's paw. The Calfion Eagle has sunk its talons into the lion's heart. But I shall be the one chopping off the eagle's head. All right, so I do I, yeah, I turn this into Jordine. This letter came from Grace Lauren. Now there is a name I haven't heard in a while. I'm shocked Bobby managed to find her, and you are? I don't know you. Are you an adventurer? Actually, it is of no significance to me. I recognize a person based on their competence, not their background. As long as that background doesn't include being from Calfian, that is. You want to make a name for yourself? I will grant you an opportunity to do so. Talk to instructor Crewhorn at the training ground. You can start by completing assignments for Crewhorn. Okay, so we got a necklace, which is nice. I'll throw that on. So this one actually gives us four attack, which is a lot better than the binder necklace. Now the binder necklace does give us accuracy, which is really nice, but you know, nothing nothing quite beats pure attack power. Uh, you're not from Calfian, are you? In that case, I hope you like Serendia. Was J Lord Jordine Dukas in a bad new mood? Ha ha ha, don't mind him. Politics are not easy. 
You can always come to me whenever you're in a pinch. I can help you out as long as it's not something incredibly difficult. If you're planning to stay a while in Heidel, please head to Alejandro Farm where you have time when you have time to spare. There have been numerous reports of pumpkin ghosts causing a nuisance at Alejandro Farm. The villagers there are having a hard time. Please help them. Okay. So that is going to do it for this episode. In the next one, I will head over to Alejandro Farm, or yeah, Alejandro Farm, which is up here, and we will take care of whatever needs to be done up there. This is actually kind of nice, kind of something fresh and new. I don't really remember any of this from my time on my Sorceress, because I think that's probably the last time I did some of this stuff. So... Yeah, it feels kind of fresh and different, so I'm happy about that. But I will catch you guys all in the next video. Peace.